Question, comment, concern from today. Oh, comment, a lot, lot of good information uh, as to the whys and wherefores of what happens. Information like, well, we know what happens under stress. You know, you're going to lower your center of gravity, but getting back to the mechanics of it really didn't have all that. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, mean, I, I had a lot of stuff in general that I could impart and tell people and never really got a lot of questions. Right. That, that's a, lot of, a lot of questions on it, you know, but getting getting into it deeper and how physiologically it, it actually operates and goes is, you know, really helpful. Yep. Coleman, work line is stable. You said B2 or engine would be exploded. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. A uh, lot of information, a lot of detail, a lot of uh, complicated information. And also the pressure, as I said, I, I kind of described it. You know, like I said, like we were talking about Robert during the break. I, I've done this once or twice before. You know, we've seen it. I, I don't think we had anticipated that it was going to be this, this much information. And one of the key points that I mentioned as well was uh, how significant the, uh, the comment that he made the other day about um, the three to five seconds. For me, that premise was really, really critical. And I think that's what makes this training, that sets this training apart from everyone else. And, you know, I would do this again. I mean, apart from, you know, the, the head exploding and everything else, um, it, it's certainly well worth it for me. Not first. Thought. It's holy crap. Uh, that's my first thought. Um, a lot of this stuff, you know, uh, yeah, I read the book before I got up here. So, you know, I had a little concept, a few things. I talked to Mike, and I just mentioned that to him. You know, and he's saying, you know, I think he said 20% might actually pass during the actual time of it. You know, so I came up here with one attitude of, you know, thinking that uh, this is going to be great information. It's going to help me more when I go back home. Even if I can still carry classes, no matter what takes place in this part, because I didn't know that you also had, I can do more later to go ahead and get the certificate. So I had in my head, so that once I got here, I thought, this is something I think I really want to be involved in, because it is a good program. And this is something I want to, I want to get certified in. Not just take something home and be able to do and add to, no, now I want to be certified in. And so, you know, and yeah, it's, it's information overload to a point, but I know I can eventually work through all that and get all the details of it as I go. And I don't have to have it by Thursday. I want it by Thursday. Yeah. I want to have it by Thursday, you know, but no matter what, I am going to get it. I will pursue it. I will finish it no matter what. I'm glad that, you, that we have that opportunity and it doesn't have to just stop on Thursday. Right. You know, but I, I, I'm going to be able to use a lot of this either way, but I'm still planning now. I, I'm looking forward to actually doing it because you know you're you're sold on the program. I mean, it's obvious that you know we talk about that out there. You're passionate about this, you know, and and that and that bleeds off. And I mean, it really does. It it, it comes off of you and, and, and to some of us. And I think it's you know I, I think it's going to be beneficial to me, regardless of the certificate. I'm going to gain. I'm gaining a tremendous amount out of this class either way. I think we had a. Um we have that happen in some percent. And I'm not saying that you didn't really care about it on Sunday, but right. Right. like you said, you kind of said, well, if I don't get certified, I don't get certified, but I'll get something. You know, and I, like I, I talked about yesterday, that idea that, well, if I go to training, at least I'll get one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't think that's good enough. I think if you're investing the time, effort, and energy to come to a class, you better get more than one thing. Mm -hmm. So I do see people who come in, not at all casual, but not passionate, as you said, about getting that cert certificate. And then all of a sudden, they get here and they're like, oh man, I really want to get certified. I want to be part of that crew that, that gets it. I want to be part of that 50%. I've always wanted into this, in this style of teaching, because it goes with my martial arts type. You know, this type of teaching, is, this whole fire arms product is with that. And now I want it even more than I did this weekend when we were doing the DH class. I don't know if you this, but it is a whole lot of stuff. And I'm just not so geared towards, oh man, I'm just slipping the wrist if I don't get it on Thursday. Because I'm still going to get it. I don't care if it takes me three months, six months, a freaking year. I'm still going to get it. Uh, I, I kind of a little bit reversed. I was, I came here after after going to the class and stuff, and I was pumped about getting certified. 
but actually now with the, with the amount of information and, and thinking about what you were saying, um, what we talked about before with uh, different firearms and different things like that, I actually am more prepared now, um, at the end of day two here, to, to actually say, if I don't get certified, just like him, I'm going to get certified eventually. I'm not, not worried about that.